Hi guys, welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. In today's episode of Neat Preparation, we'll be dealing with the chapter Animal Kingdom. It is the fourth chapter in your grade 11 syllabus for CBSE. We'll be dealing with the previous year questions related to the chapter Animal Kingdom of medical entrance examinations in India. Let's begin. This is our first question. Pouched mammals are known as A. Prototherians, B. Metatherians, C. Eutherians, and D. Therians. Let's look at each of our options one by one. Let's look at option D first. Therians. What are Therians? Therians are a mix of eutheria as metatheria. Therefore, it's dependent on the other options. Let's look at option C, eutherians. These are mammals minus pouched mammals. So option C is incorrect. Therefore, pouched mammals will not be present exclusively in the group of therians. So option D is also incorrect. Let's look at option A, prototherians. These are the animals known as monotremes the mammals which lay eggs. So they do not have pouches. So option A is also incorrect. The right answer, the word that is used for pouched mammals is known as metatheria. So metatherians are known as pouched mammals. Let's look at this question. Sponges capture food with the help of a. Pinacocytes, B. Coanocytes, C. Trophocytes, and D. Theocytes. Let's look at each of our options. Theocytes refer to reserved food granules. So they're used for storage, but they do not help in capturing food. Let's look at Trophocytes. Trophocytes are fat cells which store fat, but they store fat in insects. So option D and option C are incorrect. Option C is particularly incorrect because A, it is not referring to the capture of food, and B, it is referring to insects, whereas we're dealing with sponges. Let's look at option A, pinacocytes. What are pinacocytes? These are flat cells found in the outer layer of sponges. So they act as skin and they do not help in capturing food. So option A is also incorrect. The right answer is option B, coanocytes, also known as collar cells. These make up the water vascular system of sponges. Let's look at this question. Chloragogan cells of earthworm are similar to which organ of vertebrates? A liver, B lung, C kidney, D spleen. To find out which organ is similar to chloragogan cells of earthworm, we need to look at what is the function of chloragogan cells. Chloragogan cells help in urea formation in earthworms. It's also present in synthesis of fat. So, which of the organs here 
have the same functions as chloragogen cells? Spleen, option D. This option is incorrect as it is the graveyard for RBCs. Option C, kidney, is also incorrect as it deals with excretion. So whatever the urea formations are present in a vertebrate, it is excreted by the kidney. It has no role in the formation of the waste. Option B, lung, is also incorrect as lungs are used for respiration. The function of detoxification showed by chloragogen cells is most similar to option A, liver. And that is the right answer. Hemoseal is found in A, Hydra and Aurelia, B, Tinea and Ascaris, C, Cockroach and Pila, D, Herdmania and Balanoglossus. Hemoseal is body fluid found in arthropods and mollusks. So for any option here to be right, both of them should either belong to arthropods or mollusks. Let's look at option A, Hydra and Aurelia. This option is incorrect. Both Hydra and Aurelia belong to Nidaria, the phylum Nidaria. Let's look at option B, Tinea and Ascaris. Tinea is a platyhelminthes, while Ascaris is an Askelminth, Askelminthes. So Tinea and Ascaris are incorrect. Let's look at option D, Herdmania and Balanoglossus. Herdmania is a chordate, while Balanoglossus is a hemichordate. These forms are too advanced to have hemocele in them, so option D is also incorrect. The right answer is option C, cockroach and pila. Cockroach is an arthropod, while pila is a mollusk. Slide eight. Let's look at this question. Aquatic reptiles are A, ureotelic, B, ureotelic on land, C, ammonotelic, D, uricotelic in water. Let's look at the key word here, aquatic. Aquatic reptiles can have the ability to lose a lot of water because they gain a lot of water in their surroundings. So lots of water present, which means that they excrete ammonia. And ammonia is toxic and requires a lot of water. So let's look at each of our options. Option A, ureotelic. Ureotelic means excreting urea and not ammonia. So option A is incorrect. Ureotelic on land is option B. Aquatic reptiles always stay in water. and very rarely come out of land. They excrete in the water. So option B is also incorrect. Let's look at option D, uricotelic in water. Uricotelic means they excrete uric acid and uric acid does not need any water. They are excreted in the form of pellets. So option D is also incorrect. Therefore, the right answer is option C, ammonotelic. Ammonotelic means excreting Ammonia, which is NH3.
Next question. The larva of housefly lacks a eyes, b wings, c spiracles, and d none of these. What is the larva of a housefly? It is known as a maggot, and it is pretty different from a housefly. These kind of creatures undergo a process known as metamorphosis, which means that they have they show indirect development let's look at each of our options option a eyes all creatures whether young or old have eyes so option a is incorrect option c spiracles now these are important in respiration whether housefly or maggot so option c is also incorrect D, none of these. This option is also incorrect because a maggot is not similar to a housefly. It has some morphological changes which, in which one of them is expressed here. So option D is also incorrect. The right answer is option B, wings. Maggots are wingless. Let's look at the next question. Single filament of nostoc without mucilage sheath is called as a colony, B mycelium, C trichome, D hyphae. In this question, I can discard options B and D because the terms mycelium and hyphae are used for fungi. And this Nostoc is a cyanobacterium, blue-green algae. Let's look at option A, colony. This option is incorrect. A colony is a group of nostoc living together, and it's not the single filament. Therefore, the right answer is option C, trichome. Trichome are hairs which are found in the exterior or the periphery of a nostoc. So that is the right answer. Because it does not have mucilage sheath, which is found in the interior of nostoc. Organisms attached to substratum generally possess a radial symmetry, B asymmetrical body, C op single opening of digestive canal, D cilia to create water current. Let's look at what organisms attach to substratum. Which phylum has the most number of organisms attached to substratum? Now they are Nidaria and Echinodermata. And both of these exhibit radial symmetry. For option A is correct. Option B, asymmetrical body, is incorrect because this is referred to porifera, which is not very common. C, single opening of digestive canal is also incorrect as it, it is exhibited in platyhelminthes and option d cilia to create water current is again porifera it is a feature of porifera so the right answer is option a radial symmetry which is exhibited by both nidaria and echinodermata in their adult forms Hydra recognizes its prey by A. Nematocyst, B. Special organ, C. Chemical stimulus, and D. Mechanical stimulus. Let's look at each of our options one by one. Hydra belongs to Nidaria, so it does contain nematocysts. But are they the right answer? No. Nematocysts are 
are used for self-defense or poisoning, but they do not recognize prey. Option B, a special organ is also incorrect. And this has to do with the phylum we're dealing with. Nidaria has only tissue level of organization. Option D, mechanical stimulus would be evolutionarily impossible as if an object does a uh, hunt using mechanical stimulus, then other objects would start avoiding it. And thus it would be very harmful for its existence. Therefore, the right answer is option C, chemical stimulus. Let's look at this question. The long bones are hollow and connected by air passages. These bones are characteristic of A, aves, B, mammals, C, reptiles, D, sponges. Long hollow bones implies that the organism is lightweight. And an organism has to be lightweight if it wants to fly. Let's look at organisms that fly. Option D, sponges, is definitely incorrect because they do not move at all. No movement. Option C, reptilia, is also incorrect. None of the organisms here fly. Option B, mammalia, is also incorrect. Mammalia is characterized by having dense bones. And with the exceptions of bats and flying lemurs, none of them fly. Therefore, the right answer is option A, aves. These are the organisms which require the long, lightweight, hollow bones to fly. And aves refer to birds. Aristotle's lantern is found in A. Asteroidea, B. Echinoidea, C. Holothuroidea, and D. Ophiroidea. Now, what is Aristotle's lantern? Now, this is an organ used for chewing in a particular class of echinodermata. And we have been given four classes from echinodermata, and we need to find out which of them chews its food. Let's look at each of our options. Option A, asteroidia, refers to starfish. Now, these organ now in these organisms, the stomach comes out to digest. So they do not require Aristotle's lantern. Option A is incorrect. Option C, holothuroidea. Now, holothuroidea refers to sea cucumbers. And these organisms are scavengers. And they do not require chewing organs, such as Aristotle's lantern. So option C is incorrect. Option D, ophiuroidea, refers to brittle stars. Now, brittle stars sweep their food into their mouths. So, option D is also incorrect. The right answer is option B, echinoidea. And from the name, it's clear that these refer to sea urchins, which chew kelp, which is very hard. So they require the organ known as Aristotle's lantern. Next question. Sympathetic nerves in mammals arise from A, sacral region, B, cervical region, D, third, seventh, ninth, tenth cranial nerves, and D, 
thoracico lumbar region. Now, the nervous system of mammals comprises of CNS, central nervous system, and PNS, peripheral nervous system. Now, the PNS contains sensory nerves and ANS, which is the autonomic nervous system. These are further divided into sympathetic and parasympathetic. So what we are about to find out is where sympathetic nerves are present in all mammals. So let's look at each of our regions. Option A, the sacral region, present at the very bottom of the vertebrae. These contain parasympathetic nerves. So when, paras so when parasympathetic nerves are present, sympathetic nerves would be absent. Option C, third, seventh, ninth, and tenth cranial nerves, also contains parasympathetic. Option B, cervical region, contains sensory nerves, and so they do not contain sympathetic nerves. The right answer is option D, the thoracico-lumbar region. This is the region in the vertebrae where sympathetic nerves are present. Let's look at this question. Which of the following statement is true regarding corals? A, form branch colonies. B, is solitary or colonial. C, grow as massive bodies. D, all of the above. Let's look at each of our options. C, grow as massive bodies. Corals are, have beautiful structures, but they are filamentous and branched. So option C is incorrect. Now, if one of these options, one of the above options, A, B, C is incorrect, then option D also becomes incorrect. As it says, all of the three have to be correct. Let's look at options A and B. A, form branch colonies. Now, corals are situated in colonies. But these colonies have a central axis and there is no occurrence of branch colonies. So option A is incorrect. The right answer is option B. Corals can be either solitary or colonial. So there are corals which are solitary in nature and corals which are colonial in nature. Let's look at this question. Water current in leukosolania is produced by A. Pinacocytes, B. Coanocytes, C. Archaeocytes, and D. Colonocytes. The important words are water current and leukosolania. Leukosolania belongs to the phylum porifera or sponges and sponges have a water vascular system so the water current in leukosolania would be produced by the cells which make up the water vascular system let's look at each of our options colonocytes what are colonocytes colonocytes they produce a sticky layer on surface and these are used to get food so option d is incorrect option c archaeocytes archaeocytes are totipotent which means they're used to produce new cells therefore option c is also incorrect option a pinacocytes pinacocytes are used 
as the external covering. And these are flat cells. So option A is also incorrect. The right answer is option B, coanocytes or collar cells. Let's look at this question. Which of these is the example of platyhelminthes? A, entamoeba, B, plasmodium, C, butcheraria, and D, schistosoma. Let's look at each of our options. Option A, entamoeba is incorrect, as this belongs to kingdom protista. Option B, plasmodium causes malaria, is a member of kingdom protista. So option B is also incorrect. Let's look at option C, Vulturaria bancrofti. This species is found in Ascalminthus. And we're asked to find the example for Platyhelminthus. So option C is also incorrect. The right answer is option D, schistosoma, which are also known as blood flukes. Let's look at this question. Paired spermatheci occur in ferritima in which of the following segments? A4567, B5678, C6789, and D3456. Let's draw an earthworm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, etc. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. And from here onwards, we find spermatheca. And from here onwards, we find the female reproductive organ present in ferritima. Earthworms are monoecious. Therefore, let's count from the beginning. One, two, three, four, five. And then from here, you get six, and then seven, and then eight and then nine. And so option C is correct. Paired spermatheca occur in earthworms at the sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth segments. Next question. The barian ossicles are found in A frog, B snakes, C fishes, D birds. What are the barian ossicles? These are bones which connect inner ear to air bladder. Let's look at each of our options. Option A, frog is wrong as it has no air bladder. Option B, snakes have no ears, so that's incorrect. Option D, birds. Now, the, now these have normal ears, no air bladder. Because for, for being lightweight, they have hollow bones. So the only organism here which has the barian ossicles, that means it has an air bladder and ears, are option C, fishes. Fishes require an air bladder, especially ostichthyes, so that they can float in the water. Sharks and other chondrichthyes will not have the barian ossicles, but over here, fishes refer to ostichthyes. The next question. The vertebrae in birds are mostly 
A. Procellus, B. Heterocellus, C. Amphicellus, and D. Acellus. Let's look at each of our options. Acellus vertebrae are found in mammals, and birds are aves. Option B, I mean, option C, Amphicellus. These are found in bony fish, which is Ostichthyes. Option C, D are incorrect. Let's look at option A, Procellus. Procellus are found, Procellus vertebrae are found in frogs and other reptiles. Option A is incorrect. The right answer is option B, Heterocellus vertebrae. Now, these terms refer to the points where each bone of the vertebrae attached to the next. Now, these refer to the endings of each vertebral bone. Let's look at this question. Basket star belongs to class A. Opioidea, B. Echinoidea, C. Crinoidea, and D. Asteroidea. Let's look at each of our options. Asteroidea are starfish and not basket stars. So option D is incorrect. Option C, crinoidea. They have their own kinds of organisms known as crinoids. So option C is incorrect. Option B, echinoidea. These refer to sea urchins. So option B is incorrect. The right answer is option A, Ophiroidea. Now these are basket stars or brittle stars. Let's look at the final question of this episode. The egg case in female cockroach is formed by the secretion of a collateral gr gland, B mushroom gland, C conglobate gland, and D prothoracic gland. Let's look at each of our options. Options B and C are outright incorrect. If you know the anatomy of a cockroach, you would know that mushroom gland and conglobate glands are found in the male reproductive system only and we're talking about a female cockroach so options b and c are incorrect let's look at option b prothoracic gland this is present in both male and female cockroaches so it has a generic function it is used for molting so young cockroaches will start molt molting by the action of the prothoracic gland. So it is incorrect. The right answer is option A, the collateral gland. Now these are paired, unequal, and branched glands found only in female cockroaches. And that's all we have for this episode. We hope that this questions would help you in your preparation for medical entrance examinations in India. Did you know that Brain Blitz Audios is specifically targeting people who wants to get free educational content? If you're one of those and wants to be a part of our journey, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching this video. We'll be back with more educational content. Until next time, bye bye.